Yo, what's up everybody? So the Island Hopper quests are here. It's been a while since I've done a video like this with my voice, but uh, as you can see here, we have these six challenges to complete in order to unlock all sorts of goodies. We got spray and I believe oh, a spray and emo and then a spray and a wrap and then a pickaxe and a back bling. So we're going to do the first quest, which was, let's see here, because I'm doing a voiceover over a voiceover, ah, Ultimate Murder Mystery. So for those of us that have never played this, once we enter the map, we pretty much spawn and I, we get to choose on the left or right what maps you wanted to play. Everybody here was choosing Wild West a lot. And then I believe one match, they chose the spaceship. But that's pretty much the start. So you start here in the middle, then you go in the room, you choose what map you want to play, and then it spawns you in that map. So once it spawned me in, I had no idea what I was doing, again, because I've never played these type of games. So I just started running around and I was like, oh, there's a coin. And then that's pretty much what I did for, I want to say a solid minute and a half before the game ended. Uh, I just went around trying to find coins because it wasn't letting me melee anything, which I later came to find out why, but we'll get to that in a bit. So yeah, so if you're just running around like this, the objective is to stay alive because there's going to be other people hunting you uh, in a way. So you have to make sure that you don't get pickaxed to death. So just pretty much run around the map collecting coins until you get 50 coins or if during one of the matches you get lucky enough to be a, I think it's a hunter, then you can get five melees, which is a lot easier, as you'll see right now. So this was my third match in, and I ended up being a hunter, which is where I can pickaxe people. So this is where you can get your five melees. And this one is a heck of a lot easier than collecting 50 coins. So there's one melee, and then I chase this person down, got... Can you tell how atrocious my aim is? I mean, I can't even pickaxe people, but right here I got three melees in the same building pretty much. And then let's cut to the fourth and the fifth. Uh, is this the fourth? Do I get Darth Vader? Yep, got revenge on all those younglings. And there it is. So there's the five melees literally in one building. So that is the first quest uh, challenge done for this map either 50 coins or five melees and five melees is of course the easiest way to go about it well if you're lucky enough to be a hunter that is and here are the two rewards that we get for the first challenge which is the spray the tropical infra raven which is amazing and the infrared gg which is also amazing and let's see if i take a look at the next quest we have so now we have to play one trigger so this one was interesting. So you spawn in a room like this and then you get the little directions here, which for some weird reason I took forever to read because I was so genuinely confused and I was like, what do I do? I don't know what to do. And I still don't even think I played this creative map correctly, but what I did pretty much worked for me. So again, you spawn in this room and um, I don't think anything here does anything at least these little chips right here and like i said i tried swinging but then eventually i was just like well maybe these don't do anything and i went into the little rift right here eventually and it brought me into this map and if you pickaxe this thing as you could see it just drops materials over and over and over for a short while and then it stops for a bit and then you can keep pickaxing it and it keeps dropping materials so I just pretty much did this over and over and over again. Again, I don't even know if I was doing it correctly, but it worked for me. After a few minutes, I noticed these trees over here and I was like, hmm, I wonder if I can chop these down. So I did and look at that. I started getting pretty good materials and also the apples, like when I would pick them up, it would count as resources. I'm pretty sure, but yeah. So as you can see here, I would chop these four trees down and then I would replant them because I would get trees from the um, little chip in the middle of the map. So I would cut them down, plant the four trees, pick up any apples. I'd pretty much go back to the center. 
don't know why it took me forever to pick up that apple but yeah so as you i'm just looking around because i like even like i said i don't even know if i was playing this right but i would come back to the center and i would just pickaxe this chip over and over and over or pick up the materials that the teammates here were pretty much harvesting and i would wait for my trees to grow back which would be maybe 10 15 seconds see there they already grew back and that's what i did pretty much for the next few minutes is i would plant the trees go to the middle uh pickaxe that little chip in the center come back and just rinse and repeat until i had the 3000 materials and this is the tree that gave there it is so i got my 3000 materials and I, all this took maybe three, four minutes, roughly. Again, I don't even know if I was playing this game mode correctly, but this is what worked for me, and it's what I did, and that's what got me to 3,000 materials, so that's what I did. So the next one was to eliminate opponents in Prop Hunt Mall. And once you spawn in, you pretty much land kind of in a mall like this, and it gives you the little instructions, and you walk around and you choose what prop you want to be and you pretty much hold down the trigger at least i believe it was the trigger i don't yeah did i not no i don't think yeah i did there you go and you turn into the prop and you go hide as best as you can now i died almost instantly because for some reason it said that the hunters are going to be released in so and so seconds and they released prematurely so there was still like seven seconds left and yeah i got completely bamboozled so i didn't know where to hide which doesn't really matter because the whole point is to get three kills but see look right there there were still three seconds left and i got completely wrecked but either way so once you die you become a hunter so now is when you can go get your three kills and pretty much you have to go and find any people that could be props so you just go and shoot anything and everything that you can shoot now you do get four boogie bombs two grenades and a few stink bows which do help a lot and i believe in a little bit um one of the uh, one of the other hunters throws a boogie bomb at a box and the box just starts wiggling so that's how I knew that one was an enemy player. So right here in this shop, oh, oh it was actually me. So, and see, and the little box start dancing. So I was like, wait a minute. And of course I missed my first shot on a box because I am a bot and I missed the target that huge. So there was my first kill. Well, my first elimination. My second elimination was a lot easier because I started as a hunter. So right out of the gate, I saw a bunch of things moving. So it wasn't that difficult. So I got my three eliminations pretty fast. And then you see these adorable little ducklings trying to run away. So yeah, so, you know, if you just want to get it out of the way and you are a prop the first round, I suggest just make yourself extremely noticeable, get eliminated, and you become a uh, prop a hunter. And there it is. So three kills. Here are the rewards for that challenge, the Tropical Infraravage Spray, which again is amazing, the Tropical Infrared Wrap, which is even cooler. I did not know that it was animated, but that is one awesome wrap. So those are the two rewards for completing those sets of challenges, and I believe we're halfway done. Next down the line is we have to play Color Bash and you'll spawn in a room and then once the game starts you'll get thrown in a room like this where coins just start dropping from the floor. And you just pretty much want to collect as many coins as you can just to get bonus XP and I believe it only gives you like 5 seconds so get as many coins as you can and then the actual match will start. So once the game starts, this is what you'll see is a giant tile color board and you're in a bunch of Ferraris, no not Ferraris, whiplashes with chonkers on, which obviously makes it a little difficult. You'll see a color and then you drive to the tile and you try to stay in that tile. But be very careful because obviously everyone's trying to win and they're going to try to push you off. So you survive the first round and you get the first achievement out of four done. Now we do need to complete four achievements in this and in order to see that you pretty much have to lose the match. So 
We'll go to that as I lose in a bit. So I hit the bumper here and my car just goes flying in the air and it just, <laughs> I, yeah. So it was very, very annoying. But it's okay because this is kind of what needs to happen if you want to do the other three achievements. So here's the achievement board and all the achievements that we can get. So of course we want to get the three easiest and fastest ones. That way we're not spending all day in here trying to get these challenges done. So for my second achievement, I went and did the parkour one because I figured it would be the easiest. And it was. It wasn't too difficult at all, especially because mantling was active. Active? <laughs> because mantling was active, so it made it a heck of a lot easier. All you pretty much have to do is start from one end of the map and jump on these pillars and make it to the big button on the other side. And that is it. Parkour is complete. And that is achievement number two. The next one I did was dance for a minute at the concert. So you land in this little, well, it transports you to this little area. I picked up a musical note and I just pretty much chose an emote that had dancing in it. And I just stood there for about a minute. Well, I stood here for a few seconds because I was like, I don't know if this is counting or if I had to go get the other musical notes. As you could see, there's, there was arrows pointing to it, but then I realized that it was the arrows on the, uh, on the Jumbotron there, so. So yeah, so I came and got this musical note and I just stood there until the achievement pretty much popped up for me that I had completed it. And the last achievement that I completed was to survive a color in mini color switch, which is a lot like the car one, except it's pretty much just you. And as you can see here, you're slipping and sliding everywhere. So it makes it a little bit difficult. But as you can see here, it was extremely easy and that's it that is four achievements and that is one more challenge done and out of the way almost done second to last so we have to complete achievements in parkour universe you spawn in a room like this and here it shows you the achievements which is to beat a stage beat a time trial find a secret collectible and find a secret exit out of a level and i had no idea what to do or how to go about this I pretty much walked around and I was like trying to find which one would be the easiest and I ended up going into corrupted castle and if I remember correctly I got two achievements from corrupted castle which of course I'm gonna show you how to get the three achievements that you need but yeah so this is how I did it so I went into corrupted castle and I don't believe it was this run but I'll find the run in which I did it I got an achievement for, I believe it was, to find an exit out of a level. So it was this run. I took this way and I noticed that there was another way around the corner. So I pretty much went, jumped, and there's a few jumping puzzles, but nothing too major and there was a secret door out of this and once i went through that secret door it gave me the first achievement which as you can see here i have no idea what i'm doing i had no idea where to go but whew, there we go and as you can see it got me my first achievement Woo! so here is the run for the castle and this is how I did it, just pretty much going straight through it, dying a bunch of times, realizing where the traps were, and just not dying to them. Also, it was pretty cool that these guys would set off the spikes first, so that way when they retracted, see, because they got big brains, boom, we can just walk right on through them. And completing this stage gave me the second achievement. And then Smelly Peak was the second map that I went into and completing this one gave me the third and final achievement for the unlock three achievements in parkour world. So not too bad. I'd say the whole thing took less than five minutes. Thank you. 
And finally, we have to use eight vending machines in Blimp Wars. So once the message, once the message, once once the game starts, you'll be greeted with this message, which I decided to take my time to read. So I never got to choose which I wanted to be. So I spawned with absolutely no weapons. So I ran around for like... Uh, not too long I ran around for less than a minute trying to figure out what I'm gonna do how I'm gonna get a weapon because I obviously need a weapon to get kills so I can get gold but I managed to get lucky and a little bit I believe I pickaxed somebody that was down and I just picked up their weapons and if you happen to do the same mistake that I did or maybe the game just starts you off like that again I'm not sure there is this device which lets you change your starter class on your next respawn which I click thinking, oh, I'll actually be able to choose and get some weapons. And I go and jump off the edge. But once I respawn, as you can see here, nothing. It's still exactly the same. So I'm not really 100% sure how that works. But either way, I went out there and tried to get an, an elimination so I can get a weapon. So right here around the way, I believe my teammates or was it me? Yeah, I see my teammate downs the player I go to pickaxe them I try to throw them over the cliff which thank goodness it didn't work because there would have gone all the weapons but yes once you die you do lose all your weapons so be very very careful but I finally got some weapons so I was finally able to get some eliminations and I was finally able to get some gold so a little bit further down the game I ended up finding this cool little corner over here which I was left unbothered for the most part and as you'll see right here, there are the, I believe, were these the shadow guards? I don't remember. Uh, no, it was the ghost, yeah. So it was the ghost guards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. This cool teammate came in, revived me. So, that, so I got back up, and then right across the way, as you could see, there's the two ghost guards. There they are. And you kill them. And they do count as a, a, I can't even talk. They do count as eliminations. You kill them, and a few seconds later they respawn again. So I literally just spent the next few minutes killing them, waiting for respawn, killing them, waiting for respawn, and rinse and repeat until I got a quite decent amount of awesome, awesome gold. Literally, this is all I did for maybe two minutes. It was pretty fun. And oh my gosh, it made me realize how terrible my aim truly is. My gosh. Alrighty, so once we're rolling in the dough, we pretty much can die and spawn back at our spawn point. Of course, we just want to find the cheapest vending machine we can and just purchase eight quantities of said item. So for me, I bought eight shield kegs. And just like that, easy peasy. Well, Almost, except for the fact that I spawned with no weapons and the first few seconds were extremely difficult, but we got over it. And there it is. So that is the final challenge. Not too bad. On all, I said all this took less than 30 minutes. Easy. I'd say less than 15 minutes, really. So here we have our final rewards, the Macaw Darkwing's back bling. I think these would go really great with the Marvel skins when we unlock the iridescent colors after we hit level 200 I believe once we pass 200 and the Tropic Speak Harvesting Tool. And that's it. That's how to complete all the challenges for the Island Hopper quests I believe it was. At least that's how I did it. Again, it didn't take too long. Less than 15 minutes and I don't play creative so it was an interesting challenge but that pretty much does it for this video. I do hope you found this information useful, and as always, thanks for watching.